my lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today we are going to do the meenakari work on this beautiful acrylic painting we have made in the first part so friends please to watch the whole video to do this kind of beautiful meenakari work on your acrylic paintings miniature paintings or any type of indian artwork and friends please 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 to subscribe my channel for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video i post every week friends all the details about this beautiful meenakari painting are mentioned in the description box below with the link of the materials which you can also buy online friends to get this image to use it as a reference please to check out my website which is www.creativearthome.com so let's quickly check out the materials now friends first of all we are going to need few meenas so there are two different kind of meenas available in market first and the most premium quality are this kind of meenas which are available in red green and orange color the back side of it will be of golden color and these are the real meenas you get them in different sizes and in three shapes maybe round square and rectangle for this painting we are going to need a red color and green color meenas the smallest size available the second type of meenas are these meenas which comes in packet these are actually not meenas but you can call it like fake diamond these are really cheap and they also look beautiful you can see the work and the shine in them these comes in variety of colors so it's a very big advantage for example you can see these are green meenas these are light green dark green light pink dark green white color meenas silver color meenas and a lot more so in my whole painting i have used light pink color dark pink color green color and white color stones you can also use them instead of meenas which are very advantage in this painting you can clearly see the beautiful shine of the stones the next thing which helped me a lot for this paintings are these round pearl beads these are not actually the pearl beads but for making the jewelry this was the best quality i got and their shine is permanent the shopkeeper has guaranteed me other than that you can also use this kind of stone lace these are very commonly available but make sure whenever you use this kind of lace that its polish should not wear off so you have to try it once before you place it on such expensive paintings so these are all the minas i have used in this painting Thing. to place the minas on our base i have used fevicryl fabrica glue you can also use fevicol if you want this glue dries strong and is transparent after it gets dry so if there is anywhere extra layer of glue it won't be visible as white and we are also going to need this kind of one tweezer sometimes to hold the stone and to pick up the stones i'm going to use this kind of bamboo stick make sure the tip of it should be sharp enough other than that i'm going to use a professional artist gold color it looks like this you can also use the gold paint from camel artist range next and the most important thing friends to make the meenakari the golden clay part we are going to need a cone so let's quickly check out the recipe for it so let's check it out friends First of all, we are going to need marble dust powder. This is specially for hobbyist and professional artist and this is one of the finest marble powder I found online. So we are going to use a marble dust powder. Secondly, we will need Arabic gum. In the previous video, I have shown you how to make this kind of Arabic gum yourself just by keeping the solid gum pieces overnight dipped in water. You will get a liquid Arabic gum in this way. Now for preparing the base and for that, I'm using marble powder in my cup. This is an approximate amount I have for because I know what amount of Arabic gum I have to add. So here it goes. And now mix it properly. Here friends, you can see the consistency of the paste I have prepared. So this is quite thick but not very thick. And this is the consistency I want. So now I'm going to pour it in my cone. This is the cone I have made. You can also use small bottles like this if you're not comfortable with cone. Okay, this is the way I have hold my cone and then I'm pouring the paste in it. 
we don't have to fill up our cone totally this much would be enough so that we may comfortably seal the cone in this way first hold it in this way apply tape and then fold it fold the corners then again use tape to seal it at the end hold the last edge make the cone tight as tight as possible this is how you have to pack the cone and yeah your cone is ready so now friends my cone is ready here and i'm going to do the designing part only on the place which is left empty for the jewelry and i have cut just a little bit of cone so that i may get a very precise and thin line out of it so i'll start by doing the first lining cross design in between these two lines so friends in the same way i will be continuing the cone designing part on the whole jewelry and sari linings okay so now we are going to start doing the designing part for dress for this part i'm going to make simple round dots make alternate dots because we're going to place stone in between them same i'm going to do in this part now we are going to design the pallu of radha for that i have decided a very special design We are going to do the design on Radha's pallu. So the design is going to be very simple, which is crisscross design. So simultaneously draw parallel lines in this way. So after this lines get dry, only after that we have to do the reverse cross lines, which will look like this lines. Okay. So the same design I have done in this part also, and this is how the finished part should look. Once your first lining has got dried up, bring out the second cross line in this way. And friends, when this zigzag design gets dry, I'm going to do the outlining part from both the main lines once again so that it may look lifted up like this. For now, I will let it get dry first. After this side has got dried up, I'm going to do the opposite lines in this way. Okay, now we will let this lines get dry completely. Till that, I'm going to show you how to do the outline of this design. So this is the same sari pallu design we did there also. You have to simply do the outline of the same design. So friends, now I will let this part get dry and then we'll start doing the next part. Okay, now do the outlining for this design also. So now friends, I have finally completed doing the clay part and this is how all the jewelry part looks on Radha and Krishna. We have completed doing the borders which have also got dried up and completely it looks like this. So now friends, we are going to start doing the jewelry part. For that, we have to color all the jewelry in golden first. But before that, we are going to lay a coating of primer on the clay so that the golden color shine up more and in a better way. So I'm going to use my white acrylic paint and color the whole clay part in white first.
So now friends, here you can see that I have finally completed doing the clay part and the primer has also got dried up. So now it's time to place some gold. For that, I'm going to use a premium gold color and this is the antique gold shade. And using it, I'm going to color the whole clay part in this way. jewelry part of Radha. First I'll start with the sari border. So now coloring all the jewelry part as golden is finally completed so I will let it get dry and then show you how does it looks okay. Now friends I have finally completed doing the gold part and this is how it looks. Let me show you a full scale view of Radha and Krishna. This is how the sari and dress of them looks and this is the bottom part. So friends, after completing the golden colored jewelry part, we are going to start decorating and completing the jewelry by placing meenas on the right and exact place. For that, I am going to use every kind of meena and jewelry shown in this video. We are going to need dark pink, light pink, white, green color stones and these are the stone beads of white and silver color lining. Other than that, we're going to need this beautiful fine pearl beads. And to place this on the golden parts, we're going to need Fevicryl Fabrica glue. Okay, this glue dries up transparent. So these are the best to keep it on place. And a tiny teeny stick like this, which will have a pointed tip. So friends, part by part, we are going to do the jewelry work from headpiece, neck piece, hands and the sari. So friends, first of all, we are going to start from decorating the mukut. And for that, I'm going to place Fabrica glue on the tiny holes you can see here. And then dip the stick a little bit in the glue. And I'm going to place this white stones in those holes and press it gently so that it is placed exactly where I want it to be. Now again place glue and then this time I'm going to use a red color minas to place there. I leave this part empty. I have also decided to place a string of pearls from here surrounding the crown in this way. Then you have to simply and directly hold a string of pearl in this way. Move the pearls forward till the end of the loose part and then start placing it on the glue in this way. Gently tap on the pearls so that they are on place and together. Once the pearls are placed exactly where you want, gently press them and then slightly and gently remove the whole string okay in this way and you have directly got a beautiful line of pearls where you want it the same two strings we are going to place in this part place the glue exactly on place then pass the string forward place it on the crown and then pull the string directly you should get a very clean line I'm going to repeat the same step, place the glue where you want to place the string of pearls. And then gently pull the string. Now I have decided to place few big stones in this big round part and I'm going to place red and green in alternate. So I have placed the fabric glue and this is my green stone. I can directly pick up with hand, place it straight into the hole. So these are also going to be the red and green minas. So here I'm going to place the round red minas in the center. Place them very precisely. 
here also I will place the red minas and now here I am going to place 4 green minas in this design now friends I am going to alternately place the stones so I will place a green one here first then pink one then again the green ones pink ones again green and pink now friends simultaneously will be placing stones here and there so just be careful sometimes i'll be placing white stones sometimes red stones pink green and sometimes i'll be placing the string of pearls so now friends i'm going to start placing the minas on the golden part for that i'm going to use fevicryl fabrica glue first of all what you have to do is you have to place enough quantity of glue where you want to place the stones or the minas okay and when you have placed the stones you have to use such kind of a stick which should have a pointy tip dip it in just a little bit of glue touch the stone and it will easily pick up the stone in this way and then place the stone on the glue let me show it to you once again just apply a little bit of glue on the tip of your stick and then pick up the stone place it on the glue so in this way you have to place stones in between this golden dot i'll do it once again first place the glue each time pick up the stone and place it on the glue once you are satisfied with the position of stone, let it get dry. Now friends, I am going to place stone on the sari's border of Radha. So I am going to use the dark pink color stones and the white color stones for it. So first of all, I am going to place the Fabrica glue in between these two lines. Take a little bit of glue start placing these pink stones on this. one more line of the same dark pink color and now after placing the pink stones I'm going to place white stones in the center line of it this part also you can also alternate the same design by applying two pinks and one white in between simply pick up the white first place it in center so i'm going to place the same white color stones in this part now let's do the next part here i'm going to do a little bit of designing for that i'm going to place first of all fabrica glue in the center then place a few white stones now i'm going to place a few light pink color stones in between these designs
for this part you can observe first I'm going to lay one single line of pearls for that I have already applied the glue then I'll select a long long string of pearl and lay it now friends I have decided to place few red beads in the string of pearls so what I'm going to do is after every three to four bits I'll remove two bits and add one red mina in this way press it gently after three to four bits I'll remove two bits and place another mina I'm going to place the white tone silver line on this part so first of all I'm going to measure it so it will be enough for this much and then just bend it a little bit twist and it will break easily so I'll apply the glue on place and then gently place it now friends we are going to do the final mala part for that i'm going to place two strings of pearl this time again one more line okay and i really want to place this green tones in between them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove two tiny lines so the same i'm going to do for this part also
same way I'm going to place the white pearls on the string and then place the green minas okay and then our painting will be finally completed to present in front of you so friends this is how beautiful our minakari painting looks when i have finally completed doing the whole minakari work you can clearly see the beautiful jewelry part i have done friends let me give you a full look of this beautiful minakari painting if we start from the headpiece we have given a beautiful peacock feather crown to krishna with a heavy work designed choli to radha and you can clearly see the beautiful colors on the clothing we have also given it a golden work design on borders with combination of a beautiful pearl jewelry and gold jewelry they are wearing if you come to the bottom you can clearly see the beautiful design we have done on the lehenga and choli of radha and krishna's dhotar is decorated with beautiful meenas you can see and at the bottom we have placed this beautiful pair of piles on radha and krishna both are different work but they look elegant and very pretty i hope friends you enjoy my work so do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos and if you do like my videos friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching